Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to tell you everything about Costa Rica. And I'm not talking about the side that is more explored, the Pacific side of Costa Rica. Today I want to talk to you about the Caribbean side, which is a little bit less explored and a little bit more interesting. A few people recently have been asking me about Costa Rica and where they should go, what they should do, especially with the fall season approaching. Um, and because it's rain season on the Pacific side of Costa Rica, Puerto Viejo, which is on the Caribbean side, is the destination to be at. So if you want to learn more and what you should do and get some tips, um, keep on watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe down below. It helps me out. It helps my channel and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's get into it. So we decided to go in October and October is rain season on the Pacific side and we decided we're gonna go to the Caribbean side which is very dry and sunny at that time so it was perfect um, and we were planning an October trip but we didn't want to go all the way to Europe so if you're looking for something less expensive don't want to make it to Europe you have less time we were there for 10 days on Instagram I recently did a poll um, asking people how long they like their videos on YouTube and everyone told me under 10 minutes how am I supposed to give you this information in less than 10 minutes I don't know let's try okay so we first flew into San Jose. When we got there, the customs lady actually told us, um, showed us on her phone. She took her mobile phone and she was showing us. And it was videos of people waist deep in water. So I was like, oh my God, we made a mistake. We read the wrong thing. We, we are going into um, rain season all over Costa Rica. But no, it wasn't. Uh, we got the car. We started driving over to Turrialba, which was our first stop. Tips, tips. Make sure you get an all-wheel drive because Costa Rica's driving conditions and the roads are bumpy and there's lots of uphills and downhills. So um, definitely get all-wheel drive. Another thing, I hope you know how to drive standard because the automatic cars are super expensive. A standard car is much cheaper, so you would have some cost savings there. Only filled up gas once on this magical car that I've never heard of before. And I'll insert the name here because I can't remember. We only filled up once the entire trip until we dropped the car back off. It was insane and we drove everywhere so it was uh amazing on gas and they need to bring that car into canada so we made the drive over to turialba which is a village um in the mountain around uh, a dormant volcano name here we stayed at the guayabo lodge and it was so beautiful um beautiful views of a coffee plantation it was just like the perfect place for our first stop and our first relaxing um part of the trip one thing you should know, the sun sets around 5 o'clock in October, if you're going in October, and that means if you're driving, there are no street lights and things like that, and you're going over bumpy mountains and hills. Um, make sure you get a flight early into San Jose, and then you just like book it to the next place you're going to, because sun sets at 5, it's just a little bit tougher driving conditions. Turialba was great. We went horseback riding in a coffee plantation. We went for food. We went and had some food in local restaurants. Um, we drove over to the volcano. It was just a perfect start to the trip. Very relaxing. You get the beauty and lushness of Costa Rica um, and great views. So Turialba is definitely a nice stop on your way to Puerto Viejo. Then we made our way to Puerto Viejo. So we drove through, oh my god, the most beautiful scenic drive. Lush, lush forestry. Um, and just the mountain views were incredible like we really took our time driving down to Puerto Viejo because it was so nice to get into Puerto Viejo it's this totally different vibe it's a very Caribbean influenced um, beach town like you'll drive through and you'll see all these little like stores and shacks set up uh, with food and amazing it was just like it's so cute so relaxing uh, at that time of year too there aren't a lot of tourists which was fantastic so it's just like the locals and then it's a few tourists um, and you really have the beaches to yourself. So I'll insert some footage of Caleb and I here just frolicking on the beach and there's no one in sight, which is amazing. So one thing we kept reading before we got there too was um, make sure not to leave your stuff unattended at the beach and that sort of thing. I had my GoPro with me and I just shoved it in my beach bag, it's fine. Or we took it into the water with us and honestly we had no issues, no problems. Doesn't mean you shouldn't stay alert. Always stay alert when you're traveling. Um, but it's just, it was incredible. Thing We stayed at a place called Cariba Town Hotel. Oh my God, I can't recommend this place enough. Uh, the people were amazing. It's a Canadian woman and her um, has Spanish husband from Barcelona. They're so cute. Just love the place because you have your own little hut, basically your own room, very private, AC, uh, Wi-Fi, all that good stuff. Um, and then they had incredible breakfast every morning, like a fresh homemade breakfast with great coffee. It was just 
so great i can't recommend it enough and you're steps away from the beach like literally steps away and i can insert some footage here of us just walking over to the beach it was that close um you can always take a shuttle from the airport to um puerto viejo which is a little bit more expensive and you don't have the freedom to drive around and do what you want to do but if you do take a shuttle you can rent a bike um so many bike rental places and just do beach hopping so there's so many beaches in puerto viejo um that are so nice untouched almost untouched i mean like there are people that visit there but it just it's so nice and so lovely and we spent four nights there and then we extended our stay even longer we were going to go to san jose earlier and spend some time in san jose but we were like you know what this beach vibe this beach life right now we need to enjoy it and we need to extend it and um luckily they had availability we extended our stay and stayed there longer while we were there we went to the jaguar rescue center which was amazing you can see uh sloths that have been rescued just learn more about the uh, costa rican wildlife i haven't been to the pacific side my sisters have been to the pacific side they really enjoyed it um it's a different vibe so it just depends what time of year you want to go and just make sure it's not rain season and what type of trip you want to have so if you just want a really relaxing beach vibe um almost hippie sort of vacation then puerto viejo is the place for you um there's a lot there are a lot of other places you can go and visit on your way to puerto viejo which is tortuguero which was where the little turtles um the beach turtles come up and lay their eggs and that sort of thing and i think that happens around october as well we just didn't have a chance to go there do your research for the caribbean side of costa rica another thing uh, so we ended our trip and spent one day or one night in san jose costa rica and we stayed at the hilton and it was such a nice hotel oh my god so beautiful um again great food everywhere so they have ubers there but ubers are still not as widely accepted so sometimes they might ask you to sit in the front with them so it doesn't look like they're an uber driver because the taxis get mad and there's been violence and that sort of thing so um you know maybe don't get into an uber and hop in the back sit beside them if you can just to make it seem more casual we had our uh, uber driver drop us off at the airport he asked caleb to sit in the front with him and then when we got out he's like let's pretend your family and i'm dropping you off so we kind of gave him a hug and a handshake uh, so it was a lot of that sort of thing so you need to be aware of but again we didn't experience anything we didn't get mugged knock on wood um nothing happened to us so just be alert and be aware costa rica is very safe otherwise um and you will have an amazing time and i hope i can make this video under 10 minutes and uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down below or you can find me on Instagram and I would be happy to share more tips uh, and anything else there. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.